Hey, how is going guys? As an air back out with another video. So the last two videos, what I did was on uh, Amazing Beast 2 PC build. Both of them included the new NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 and 1070. But I thought, hey, that was all $1,000 PC build and $1,300 PC build. I thought most of them out there do not have that kind of budget. And I love to do budget and PC build. So I thought, hey, why can't I just do a PC build which costs below $500 and can give much better experience than the consoles. So I thought I'll do an amazing $400 PC build. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Now when you talk about the budget, the total budget was $435. But there's mailing rebate which reduces it to $390. So I recommend go and fetch those mailing rebates and get it below $400, that is $390, and it's a perfect build. You can crack every new generation games into normal or high settings. You can get 30 to 50 frames per second, that's guaranteed at 1080p gaming. And those who out there have 720p monitor, guys, go, very high. 40 to 50 frames per second, no sweat. So let's start with the CPU. For the CPU, I'm in the AMD FX6300 3.5 GHz hexa-core processor for only $105. Now I didn't go with an Intel, I had plenty of options. One is the Pentium G3258, other one AMD X4 860K, the i3 4130 and uh, 4150 and all those stuff. But the Intel part, they were dual core processors, but still the i3 had hyper threading. But I thought, hey, why can't I go with an AMD CPU? It's a hexa core processor and also clocked at 3.5 gigahertz. And X4860K and Pentium G3258, you can clock and get the maximum performance out of it. But the G3258 was a dual core processor. And the Far Cry Primal and the Grand Theft Auto 5. And Far Cry 4 didn't support well on dual core processors anymore. So, but this is only $105. Just FX6300 is a beast processor for the budget. Now for the motherboard, I went in the Gigabyte GA-75LMT-USB3 Micro ATX AM3 Plus motherboard for $55. Now it's not that fancy case, it doesn't have that kind of color scheme. Hey, it's just a $400 PC build. Who is gonna go, hey, fancy red and blue, black and white, and all those color schemes, 6 out of per second ports, RAID support, crossfire support, SLI support, 64 gigabyte max memory, DDR4 and all. No, it's just a budget motherboard, but you've got all you need for only $400. It's got 4 RAM slot up to 13-33 megahertz and 32 gigs of max memory. It has RAID support, 6 SATA, 3 gigabit per second ports, and onboard USB 3 headers. No crossfire support, no SLI support, nothing, and hey, who's gonna do that for a $400 budget? Now for the memory of the G-Skill just X-Series, 8 GB, 2 4 GB sticks running at DDR3, 1600 MHz for $35. It's 8 GB, much just for gaming, and if you are again going for a video editing, you can just, you know, upgrade. Hey, the motherboard has 4 RAM slots, 32 gigs of max memory, so you can just upgrade and get more RAM in the future. Now for the storage unit, the Western Digital Caviar Blue 1 Terabyte 3.5 in 7200 RPM internal hard drive for $30. Pardon me, $50. I thought, hey, why can't we go with the 500 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive? But I thought, hey, 1 terabyte is not that, um, 500 gigabyte is not that enough for new generation gaming. So most of the games out there are very huge. And one terabyte, for, uh, from my personal experience, is not enough to. I'm planning to get another two terabyte hard drive, but one terabyte for a four hundred dollar PC build is much more than enough. Now for the GPU, I'm in the ASUS GeForce GTX 750 Ti for only hundred and fifteen dollars and a twenty dollar mini rebate, knocking it down to ninety five dollars. Much better budget and GPU. This one GTX 750 Ti, you can crack every settings to normal or to high. As I said before, getting 30 to 50 frames per second, that's guaranteed. And it's only a $95. It's below $100. And I even thought of getting the R7 370 or the R7 260X. They all have much horsepower when compared to the GTX 750 Ti. But still, hey, this is only $95. So I just plan to get this one. Now for the power supply, I'm in these Corsair CX430 Watt 80 Plus Bronze Certified Semi Modular ATX power supply for $45. And there is a $20 main rebate, knocking it down to $29. 430 watt is much enough for this build because this build will only consume 242 watt at idle and let's say let's double it and it's gonna go something like 460 470 but hey it's never gonna go you're not gonna play that much crack settings with this kind of B PC 
So, when I'm the full 30 watt power supply, that's much better. Now, for the case on the Raid Max EXO ADX mid tower case for $30 and a $15 main rebate, knocking down to $20. So, this is the perfect bill and it's a cool looking case only for $20 if you use the main rebates. And I recommend, hey guys, use the main rebates because most of them has $20 main rebate or $15 main rebate. That's for this guy's amazing $400 PC but you can get much better performance than the consoles. If you want to reduce the budget, you can just go for the Pentium G3258. Use a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo Corsair H100 High. Clock to 4.7 GHz. And you can get much better experience than this, but the FX6300 is much better when compared. It's a core processor and that's a dual core processor, but hey, you can do whatever you want. Any suggestions, please mention in the comment section below. Definitely be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.